Hey guys, Mitch here. Um, so I've got something pretty cool to show you today. So if any of you, any of you guys have done any stuff with UI in UE4, you know that it's uh, pretty challenging to get um, a nice UI to work cleanly. Um, the main problem or hang up is that uh, UMG doesn't really natively support VR, and UMG is that Unreal Motion graphics, so the uh, WYSIWYG editor for uh, UI in UE4. And so I've taken the last couple of days to um, go ahead and write a plugin to um, create a compatibility layer between uh, VR and UMG. Uh, so I'll just show you a bit uh, what the results are. So if you just hit play here, uh, you'll see I have uh, my motion control. If it, yeah, here we go. And then I have my right hand is just my pointer. And then my left hand is just like a little palette, kind of like um, tilt brush. Um, but I have um, this trace here coming from my right hand and it just uh, interacts with this menu here and you see I have hover states, I can click on buttons, I can click on check marks, I can drag sliders about and this is just native UMG so there's nothing special in this UMG widget at all it just kind of works. Um, so yeah, and you can also uh, interact with things in the world, you know, it doesn't have to be on your hand, it can be up here, do the same thing, move sliders about and yeah, and all the uh, UMG events they used to work perfectly fine, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'll just go in a little bit of detail on how this works. So uh, what it is, is really just a component that I've made in C++ that extends the old um, uh, 3D widget component. So if we just go into here, I'll show you the menu actor. And now we have a VR widget um, component here. So normally when you're trying to do 3D menus, you chuck this widget component in, um, but for the VR ones, you just want to chuck my custom widget component. And at first glance, there's nothing really different, like you'll set up exactly the same as you did before, like set up which widget class you want and all that. Um, uh, but there's a couple of things we'll do at the start. I just set the game mode to game and UI. That just means uh, the hover events will work because they won't work otherwise. Um, and this is just setting a custom hit. I go into that in a sec. So the main additions I've added to the widget component um, we'll see in this uh, player pawn that uh, is in this level. So if I just open this up and we'll see a couple of things right off the bat. Um, pretty simple, I'm just doing a trace from the player's hand to see uh, what component it hit and then uh, just storing that in a variable and then we're just casting to our VR widget component, my custom component that I've set up. And there are a couple of events that we can uh, use with this component which I'll just go through in a sec. Okay. Current widget component. Um, so we've got set custom hit. Um, which what this will do is if we give it a hit, then that will be the um, place we're interacting with on that menu. So here I'm just doing a trace to get that hit, but you can do like a sphere overlap or something like that. So you can actually physically grab menus and stuff with the motion controllers, which is pretty cool. And so here I'm just calling this every frame we have um, a component under our trace. Um, the next functions we have um, emulate, so we can emulate our touch events. So emulate touch down, emulate touch up, and emulate touch move. And so what these will do is it'll go into um, uh, the C++ and then with the hit we give it, it'll find the widget that is underneath that hit and then it'll actually emulate and say to the um, to the engine that we've actually uh, touched it or made a touch event, and it'll handle all the things behind the scenes, so you don't really have to do anything, which is cool. Um, so here, if, we're, if I open this widget, we'll see um, we have a I just have a motion controller event set up that when my, when I click the right thumbstick, it'll get that current widget we're looking at, and it'll just emulate the touch event. And then when it's released, it'll emulate the touch up event, and that's all we need to really do. And then the last thing I do with this one, which is pretty cool, is I just um, have this press variable, and this will just, um, every time uh, I'm pressing the button, it'll emulate a touch move, and that's how you get that nice slider effect when I move the um, motion controller. And yeah, that's it. Uh, everything else is handled behind the scenes, so yeah, there's nothing else real more to show. Oh, I can show you, um, UMG, just so there's no th nothing funky going on. Uh, so this is just, yep, a regular UMG button. 
And you just got a regular UMG checkbox and a regular UMG slider. The event graph, nothing here going on here. It's just pretty simple. Um, yeah, it's up on GitHub now, as well as this example project's up on GitHub, so I'll put a link in the description. Uh, if you have any uh, feature requests for it, uh, let me know. But yeah, I guess that's it for now, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.